So Acer has been nailing it for the past few years with their budget laptops and the Acer Aspire 3 is one of those models. They release a new model every year and this time you get an AMD Ryzen CPU here and the same lightweight build for the same price of just $300. So without any further ado, let's get into the review of this laptop. So for $300 on Amazon, you get a lightweight body, a 7th gen Ryzen CPU and overall decent performance and display for this price. The goal of this series of laptops was never to be the best but to provide a good starting point for anyone getting into laptops when none of the aspects is a big letdown or hindrance. In this review, we will look into the laptop's build quality and design, port selection and input, keyboard and trackpad, sound quality, display, performance, thermals and finally end with the battery life of the laptop. In terms of build quality and design, the Acer Aspire 3 exceeds expectations and is a solid entry point for budget users. It has pretty much the same design as the last few iterations and again, it feels reasonably well built and is easy to carry around. The Aspire 3 has a bit of aluminum on the display lid and keyboard deck, though it doesn't feel that much better than the plastic bottom. The whole system is a little bit more bendable than you'd expect a laptop to be. The hinge is a bit sticky, so even though the lid can be opened with one hand, the base of the laptop will start to lift up as the display opens up, making it a two-handed job in the end. Fortunately, once the laptop is opened up, it sits firmly on four rubber feet that prevent it from sliding around and the display doesn't have that much wobble as well. The laptop is also reasonably lightweight and thin too. In terms of weight and size, the laptop weighs in at about 1.7 kilos and is around 0.75 inches thick, making it portable for daily use. Overall, the build quality is good and the portability of it just adds to the benefits of this design. In terms of port selection and input, you get two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, an HDMI 2.1 port, a headphone microphone combo jack and power in. The laptop also includes a Wi-Fi 6 card for steady internet connectivity and a 720p webcam that is just about serviceable for video conferences. The laptop lacks a media card reader and an Ethernet port but for this type of a laptop, you usually don't expect an Ethernet port and the media card reader is the only main negative here. The keyboard and trackpad are decent and are usable. The keyboard features keys with ample amount of spacing between them but the keys feel almost convex to where the travel on the corners of the keys isn't as even. This can make typing somewhat difficult but it's not that hard to get used to after some time. You also get a number pad here which is a bonus and the arrow keys are clustered making them a bit more difficult to use and the biggest offense here is definitely not having backlighting. The trackpad is decently large but it's not among the smoothest you'll use. It also takes a strong press to click on it but the tracking itself is good enough and is more than good enough for daily use. The sound on this is below average. Despite the large surface area of the Aspire 3, its speakers are on the underside and port out on the front edge. The speakers struggle to produce much volume and they are lacking in bass. These speakers get the job done in a quiet space but won't cut it in a more louder environment or larger room. Therefore, using headphones might be the best option here. The display on this is good for the price but it isn't anything too special. Here, you get a 15.6 inch Full HD IPS panel that is serviceable with good contrast and decent sharpness. The display does come up short on brightness and color reproduction so if you plan on doing editing on this with color accuracy, I'd suggest looking for a more expensive alternative. Still, it being IPS and having an anti-glare finish makes it have good viewing angles and the panel itself is good enough for things like consuming content and is more than enough for regular day-to-day -day work. The performance on this is one of the plus points of this laptop. Here, you get an AMD Ryzen 3 u CPU, 8GB of LPDDR5 RAM, a 128GB NVMe SSD and the inbuilt AMD Radeon graphics. These are some really nice specs for the price of $300 where most day-to-day -day work is easily doable including managing Excel, PowerPoints, and doing work-related tasks. Editing work is basically doable here though, so you should be able to manage light 1080p edit loads without an issue and photo editing is also doable without lag. In terms of gaming, you should consider something else if you want to play the latest AAA titles, but light gaming and esports games are playable here with a decent frame rate. So in terms of performance, this is good for starting off, but I'd suggest upgrading the storage here to something more so you avoid filling it up with just a few applications. Thermals are something you shouldn't worry about on a laptop like this since it has low powered components that don't generate much heat. Even if it did, you really can't do much demanding work here 
so it shouldn't bother you. The battery life on this is one of the best aspects of it. It might be the best in class at this price, beating and almost doubling most of its competition with around 14 hours of screen on time with medium brightness and with regular work and video watching. This is the main considering point for this laptop and this relieves you of having to worry about carrying a charger everywhere. So the final verdict for the Acer Aspire 3 is that even though it's not the best laptop in terms of display or performance, it still has best in class battery life and an overall value for $300 that's really hard to beat. You shouldn't be facing any major issues with this laptop and if you're someone who just wants a laptop for work or for studying, this is a solid option on a tight budget. So that's it for the video guys thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to the channel and hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next video bye